Good morning, I'm Steve Forbes and this is 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, equity markets are undergoing an expected relief rally following the US-Mexico trade sus tariff suspension. But first, US labour market data released overnight shows that while job openings fell slightly in April, a surge in hiring to a record high suggests strong demand for workers. But we need to be aware this is April data and the bite of the trade slowdown didn't happen until May and June. And American inflation expectations just keep on falling, a sign the US Federal Reserve will be watching. While in Canada they had a surge in approved building permits, taking them to record highs. And China's exports clocked up a small gain last month but imports fell sharply. Their trade surplus swelled to almost $42 billion in May, more than triple April's level. Their sensitive exports to the US declined 4.2% year on year, but imports from America dropped 27%. The Americans will be feeling that. And China's foreign exchange reserves rose again, even if only by a small amount. They now exceed $3.1 trillion. This is their fourth consecutive rise. Japan's economy grew at 2.2% annual rate in the March 2019 quarter, better than preliminary data showed. A rise in capital investments is behind the improvement. And in the UK, they posted a larger than expected fall in April GDP. Brexit uncertainty got the blame there. Equity markets are positive in trading today. Wall Street is up 0.7% on the Mexico trade relief rally, and this follows a similar rise on European markets earlier. Yesterday, Shanghai was up 0.9, Tokyo was up 1.2, and Hong Kong boomed up 2.3% in an impressive show. The upcoming G20 meetings at the end of the month in Japan are looking like the next major market risk event, based on the comments by the US President overnight. The US 10-year yield is bouncing back up 6 basis points and now just on 2.14%. Gold is lower today, giving up some of the weekend's big gains and now just on $1,328 an ounce. That means it has fallen $12 overnight. US oil prices are softer today and they are now just under 53.50 a barrel and the Brent benchmark is now at 62.50 a barrel. The Kiwi dollar has stepped back a little this morning and is now at 66.1 US cents and that is a half cent fall overnight. On the cross rates we are softer too at 95 Australian cents, against the euro we are down to 58.4 euro cents, that pushes the TWI5 down to 70.8. I'm Steve Forbes and that was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.